after I saw the original Lion King in the theaters for its 30th anniversary, I wanted to go back and watch a straight to video sequel. I already watched The Lion King 2, and now I'm here with The Lion King 1 and a half, which, out of all these movies, the one I was least looking forward to revisiting, because I remember this came out on DVD back when I was in middle school, and even then, during my formative years, I just did not care for this movie. I Back then, I was like, I don't think I like this movie as much as I do, and it turns out I did, and I just never went back to watch it ever again since that, and now, 20 years later, hey, it's 20th anniversary, here I am re-watching it with adult eyes, and I'll say it's not as bad as I remember, but it's still the weakest. But let's Quick side note, I would have done a dedicated video for this movie, but I got so much going on right now. I got some projects that I got to get going on. And of course, I got a wedding to go to this weekend. And of course, October is starting, Halloween starting. And so I got to pick and choose what I'm going to make a dedicated video for. So this movie just kind of got the shaft. But given how I feel about this movie, I don't regret making, I don't, I don't regret not making a dedicated video for this. So yeah, let's get into it. But this movie is basically a mid cool, in between cool, whatever kind of cool you want to call this. Either way, it takes place during the events of the first film in which we see the first movie through the perspective of Timon and Pumbaa. We get to see how they met and where they were doing key moments of the first movie. But before that portion, we the, mo the movie is centered around Timon, in which he's a central focus. He's part of a merchant clan, whatever you want to call it. But they kick him out because he's too forward-thinking, and he likes to think outside the box, and he meets Pumbaa. They form a friendship, and then we see Timon and Pumbaa, where they were doing the circle of life, be prepared. Um, I just can't wait to be king. I do like how they're the ones that stopped that number. I thought that was a little creative um doing the whole stampede seed and then they finally found the paradise where they get to chill out and eat bugs and then they meet simba we get to see more time between timon and pumbaa and how they raise simba then nala comes in they get jealous they try to stop nala and simba from falling in love which simba and nala do on their own if you've seen the first movie and then there's even a bit where they see the clouds coming with mufasa and they talk about hey a storm's coming we should get out of here and then there are the whole climax in the movie. They get the help of the merchants and they help them take care of the hyenas while Simba took out Scar. And then the end of the movie ends with them, with Timon taking the other merchants to the paradise that they found. And this whole movie was also like mystery science theater. Timon and Pumbaa watching themselves and then other Disney characters come in. There's even some fourth wall breaks within this movie. Look, this movie is still the weakest to me. Now, granted, it's not as bad as I remember it being, but to me, this is always the worst Lion King movie in my eyes. Even worse than the remake that came out a few years ago, but at least that movie has some stellar animation. And to this movie's credit, this movie does have some pretty decent animation compared to other straight-to-video Disney sequels. The music is definitely a step down from the first two movies, though I do like the song in the beginning, the um, the hit, come, hit before the hyena come. And then I totally forgot Raven back in her Disney Channel days made a song for this movie that played during the end credits. In the end, I feel like this movie really could have worked as a full movie. Like, if they had just centered the movie around Timon and his merchant family and how he met Pumbaa, if they had just centered the, the movie around that portion of the movie, if they just stretched the movie out and how Timon and Pumbaa, they formed a friendship and how Timon, he broke away and then he basically became his own person and then end the movie with basically the how they met Simba. They just centered the movie around that. That could have made for a decent movie. But no, they just had to tie this movie into the first movie for nostalgia. Because at the time, this mo it was 10 years after the original Lion King came out. And now, <sighs> the movie could have worked. And it's not as bad as I remember it being. But it still doesn't change the fact that this movie felt like a cash grab. And that's why I'm going to give The Lion King 1.5 the thumbs down emoji. This is your boy Bankful B of The Last of the Factor. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Peace.